For math today, this is our last day working on time. We are going to be practicing telling time to the half hour. This uh, brain pop, it tells us a little bit more about minutes and using the clock. So we're going to watch that first and then do our two time worksheets for today. <laughs> day. How can you tell time to the half hour? There's a lot of fun stuff planned today. What time is it, Moby? When you split something in half, you divide it into two equal parts. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Since half of 60 is 30, there are 30 minutes in a half hour. So when the minute hand is on the six, it's 30 minutes past the hour. Let's see, what time is it now? First look at the hour hand, which is halfway between the eight and nine. That means it's halfway between eight and nine o'clock. Then look at the minute hand, which is pointing to the six. So it's 30 minutes past eight or 8.30. You can write the time using numbers and a colon. What time is the three-legged race? The hour hand is between the nine and 10, so it's halfway between nine and 10 o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the six, so it's 30 minutes past the hour. The race is at 9.30. What time is lunch? Twelve thirty. You can also say half past 12 because it's a half hour past 12 o'clock. I can't wait for the sack race. That's at 10.15. How can you tell time to the quarter hour? When you split something into quarters, you divide it into four equal parts. A dollar is equal to four quarters. An hour can be split into four quarter hours. Since one hour has 60 minutes, each quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. When the minute hand points to the three, it's 15 minutes past the hour. What time does the sack race begin? The hour hand is just a little past the 10. The minute hand is pointing to the three, which is a quarter past the hour. The sack race begins at 10.15. That's a quarter past 10 o'clock. What time is the jump rope contest? It's at 2.15. Remember, two quarters make a half. So when the minute hand is on the six, it's two quarters past the hour. It's half past the hour, or 30 minutes past the hour. What time is the egg race? It's at 11.30, or half past 11. When the minute hand points to the nine, it's three quarters past the hour, or 45 minutes past the hour. What time is the water balloon toss? Our hand is between the two and three, but it's a lot closer to the three. So you know the time is close to three o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the nine, which is 45 minutes past the hour. So the water balloon toss starts at 2.45. We can also say a quarter to three. Well, 
We don't say three quarters past two. It's a lot easier to say that it's a quarter to the next hour. What time are we doing arts and crafts? The hour hand is between the one and two, but it's closer to the two. The minute hand is on the nine. Arts and crafts begin at 1.45 or a quarter to two o'clock. Hmm, it's 8.30 now. The hula hoop contest starts at 8.45. That's 15 minutes from now. I can't wait. Okay, so we have not been practicing the 45 or 15 minutes, but we have been practicing 30 minutes or half of the hour. So just to review, when our hour hand is pointing to the 4 and our minute hand is pointing to the 12, we would say 4 o'clock. When 30 minutes go by, halfway around the clock, we are still saying 4 because it has gone past the 4, but it's not at the 5 yet. So we are saying 4, 30. 30 minutes have gone by. So when the big hand or the minute hand is pointing to the six, we say 30 for the amount of minutes that have gone by. Today you are going to be practicing on two worksheets. All right. On this one, you are looking at each clock. It's gone past the one and it's on the six. So we're going to, or the hour hand is gone past the one. So we're going to say one. The minute hand is on the six, so we know 30 minutes have gone by. We're going to write 130. The hour hand has just gone past the four, so we're going to write four. The minute hand is on the six, so we know six or 30 minutes have gone by. So we're going to write 30 here, 430. The hour hand has just gone past the 12, so we're going to write 12. And the minute hand is on the 6, so we're going to write 30, 12, 30. For each of these on this side and on this side, we are writing the time that's on the clock. Now, don't be tricked because I think three of these are o'clocks. 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Okay? So think about it first and then write it down. That's your job for today. And you have this page also, practicing our half hours. This time you are drawing the hands on the clock. So for 5.30, you're drawing the hour hand a little bit past the five and the minute hand pointing to the six to make it say 5.30. So for this side, and then on this side, you are doing all o'clocks. So the hour hand pointing to the three and the minute hand pointing to the 12. Okay, so good practice today. This is our last day uh, learning about clocks and working on telling time. And then tomorrow we will be starting graphing.